favorite things from 2015 and yeah I know that this is a really quick intro but I just kind of have a lot of stuff to show you guys so I wanted to get to it um but yeah instead of <laughs> putting a negative uh, defeatist attitude kind of like how my last video was when I went over my 2015 review I wanted to show you some of the great parts of 2015 so I thought I would do you know instead of uh, how everyone else seems to do these monthly favorites which is probably a better idea um, just because you don't tend to forget the things that you favorited throughout the year um, but I didn't do that this year and I'm gonna hopefully get to do that next year but I just decided to go ahead and do my favorites of 2015 um, so yeah that's what this video is for and let's get to it so the first thing that I want to show you guys uh, are books and so I figured I would start with this beautiful book that my husband's aunt made for us um, and we got this on our wedding day and this is probably my favorite gift received from our wedding because it's not just a gift that we registered for. This is truly something that came from the heart. And what she did was she just put a whole bunch of pictures of us throughout our lives and then wrote special memories and stuff like that that, uh, you know, she probably got help from my mom and other people and everything like that. So it's just a really awesome book. And... I'm going to show you something that's pretty cool about this book. I'll just go down a little bit of a memory trip. This is me and my mom. I don't even know what year this was. I have no clue. But this was my first glamour shot. And it was so much fun. And I know my mom probably didn't enjoy it half as much as I did. But it was really one of my favorite memories. And I always wished that I could do glamour shots again. But I don't I don't even think they have glamour shots anymore. I think that was just a early 90s, late 80s thing. Um, but if they do, leave me a comment below and let me know if you know of anybody who still does glamour shots because I think that would be so much fun. And then this is another picture I wanted to show you. This is a childhood friend of mine. Uh, we have been friends since before we were born, honestly. Uh, our parents, our mothers knew each other, and I was born six months before she was, and so I just think it's really cool that she and I are still a part of each other's lives. Uh, I went to her wedding in May, and she was a bridesmaid at my wedding and came to my wedding in September, um, so it's just so cool to have a friend. that I can say I've been friends with her for 32 years, so that was something that I really enjoyed having in this book. Um, and there's just so many other awesome things about this book. I'm not gonna, you know, drag this video on by showing you everything, but this is seriously just a book that I treasure so much and just love so, 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 so much. Um, and I am eternally grateful to have this. Uh, just so nice. Such a good gift for somebody to do for a wedding. If you are, uh, if somebody you love is going to have a wedding anytime soon, um, and you're trying to figure out what to give them that is something special I strongly urge you to make something from the heart because those are some of the best gifts you could ever give anybody so the next book I'm going to show you guys is this this is Never Knowing by Chevy Stevens or Chevy Stevens I still haven't figured out how you pronounce her name um I did do a book review on this earlier this year so yeah that was one of my favorite books and I know that I had talked about Jodi P. Cole being one of my favorite writers. And I did a book review on this book. This is Lone Wolf. And what I liked about Jodi P. Cole is that she may do this in every book, but I don't know. Maybe it's just some books. But in this book, she had a book club questionnaire thing. And this that makes it so much easier for me to do book reviews for you guys because I can actually like answer questions. Um, Sometimes I know that that might like give some of the book away, but I try really hard not to give too much away about a book when I answer those questions. Um, and just it, it helps a reader know what is really involved in the depth of the book. And um, she just writes some really in depth emotional stories, and I just love Jodi Picoult so much. Um, so this book I read this year, and it's as you can see, super worn out, and um, I. I hate that I don't take better care of books, but what happens is I, you know, I just 
get where I'm like reading like this, which is super terrible on a book, but I don't, I can't help. I just love books so much. So, um, if you're a reader that takes really, really good care of your books, kudos to you. Um, but if you're like me and you just wear your books out, Hey, I think it gives it character. So, so the next thing is this book was actually a gift to my husband. Um, and so far I feel like I'm the only one who's like really really enjoying it and maybe it's just because I'm a random person um, but we all thought this was a really interesting book and I have just been having a blast reading through it it's random oddities and I mean I can flip to any page uh, words of wisdom patriotism I don't even know where this came from but this is just like this page I opened up to is just random quotes about patriotic stuff uh, like, it is my living sentiment, and by the blessing of God, it shall be my dying sentiment. Independence now, and independence forever. John Adams. Um, there's just so many awesome things about this book. I can't even remember everything I've already read in this book, but it's pretty big. And it's just fun to, every once in a while, open it up and read something random um, and know a fact about something. Uh, like... The front cover says that Australia is the only place in the world that is an island, a continent, and a country. Now, maybe everybody but me knew that. I don't know. I'm not the brightest person on the face of the earth. But um, I just think it's super cool that they put things in here that actually give you knowledge and they're just random cool things. So, love this book. I showed you this book on my what I got for Christmas video um, but this is 10,000 drinks and it's just a how to turn your basement into the most happening bar in town um, and I joked around and said that I was probably going to become a alcoholic because of this book um, but you know I was just kidding I don't really drink that much but I think it would be kind of cool you know to be able to make my own drinks this is 27 years worth of cocktails so that's a lot of information in one book uh, they have things like super coffee triple irish coffee a tropical clarkson some of these things i've never heard of a tropical clarkson is one and a half parts of coffee liqueur fill with hot cocoa irish coffee cup build in a heat proof cup or mug i don't know just random things like that some of them are hot drinks, some of them are cold drinks. Super cool. Like I said, maybe I will do videos if you're interested featuring uh, some of my favorite uh, cocktails that I find in here. I don't know. If you're interested, leave me a comment below or give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so this is another gift my husband got that I am super interested in myself. And not, and not because I want to be a vegan. This is a vegan cookbook. Um, which neither of us picked out right away, but we did figure it out in the grand scheme of things that it is a vegan cookbook. Um, I am not vegan. I am not saying veganism is wrong. I'm not saying anything bad about it. I'm just saying me personally. I still like meat, so I don't think I could ever be a vegan, even though the emotional side of me cries out to be a vegan you know as far as you know like I try to ignore what they actually do to animals and everything uh, to give us food but whatever I digress this book is called Thug Kitchen Party Grub for social mother truckers I'm going I'm trying to stop cursing so um but yeah this is just a super cool book it gives you all sorts of recipes that don't use meat but what's best about it is that you honestly can substitute things so if you still want a cookbook like this but you want to use meat you can still get this and just add meat in or whatever um to your liking which you can pretty much do with any recipe you can definitely like change things in and out i am not a cook but this may be something that i can use to start cooking a little more because i want to cook more um but it, it's so funny like when you're reading through it it's just super funny it's it uses a lot of foul language and um so i'm not gonna read too much of it but i definitely definitely strongly suggest getting this book it's pretty awesome 
My other favorite book is this Joanna Besford Lost Ocean. I have not started coloring in here yet, but this is plane ride or layover stuff or just later when I'm watching TV uh, coloring. I don't even know what page to start with, but yeah, can't wait to start this. Obviously, my journaling Bible is among my favorites, books of 2015. Again, I haven't started writing in that yet, but I will. And lastly, my favorite book of 2015 is this book here that I found at Walmart. I got another one that is different than this one, but I haven't finished this one yet. So um, when I finish this one, I will show you some of the things I did in this book. Um, and when I get to the other one, I'll show you a little bit about that. But this is just random questions this one says love generously give beautifully live fully i did do this in my closet talk video um and i just kind of use it as a journal like my first page says what does love mean to you and i'll read to you what i wrote love means adventures holding hands comfort kisses tears hugs uh that pull on your heartstrings fear the whole looking beyond the Laws, thing, laughter, inside jokes, tickles, snuggles, arguments, sticking up for each other. Love means seeing past all the flaws and not only loving despite them, but loving someone because of them. God says love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is irritable or it is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. First Corinthians thirteen four through seven. So now faith, hope, and love abide these three, but the greatest of all of these is love, which is 1 Corinthians 13, 13. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever should believe in him should not perish but have eternal life, John 3, 16. She asked, you are in love. What does love look like? Which I replied, like everything I've ever lost came back to me. Um, Naira Wahid wrote that. If you look at a child or an animal that speaks love in volumes, love is... Soft autumn breeze, this is, this is a poem I wrote, so. Love is soft autumn breeze, cool autumn nights, sticking your feet in cold water on a hot day. Everything about baseball games, warm fresh laundry, s'mores and campfires, Christmas morning, animals, animals, animals. Uh, love also means working through problems. It can be so hard to get through major issues, but when you love someone, you don't just walk away because it's hard, you work through it. On the other hand, sometimes you have to know when to let go. Working through problems is a two-way street. When you love someone, it's really important to know when to set them free, especially if they aren't going to make the same effort. Love is about yourself. Taking care of yourself mentally, emotionally, and physically is very important. If you don't love yourself, who will? So I just wanted to read you that first thing I wrote. But there's all sorts of like really cool things about this book. They ask you all sorts of questions. Write about someone you love and why. Um, and then I just did pictures so yeah super cool book I'm not even halfway through this one it's just something I've been slowly working on I think the last time I showed you I was on the giving section and I never got any further than what I showed you guys in the closet talk video I'm still here have not gone any further yet but I will I love this book. This is Broken Open. I haven't finished reading this one yet. I'm still like kind of in the beginning of it, but this is by Elizabeth Lesser and it's just about how difficult times can help us grow, which this would have been really beneficial to me in the beginning of this year, uh, but it still will help me through whatever hardships come to me in 2016 because you can't really, um, can't avoid stuff like that. So that's for... A book that I'm enjoying um, and also the Hunger Games books I really have enjoyed the Hunger Games books I it was something I just started reading this summer and just fell in love with it uh, another journal I'm doing this is my uh, prayer journal um, and I have that one and I also have just a regular journal so I'm journaling a lot writing a lot and reading this book um, and yeah those are my favorite books and I will be right back to show you guys some more stuff that I loved in 2015 so some of my favorite clothes from this year I will start with the Halloween because it was the biggest thing I had in my closet and that is this tutu that my friend Kelsey made me um, I'm trying to find the awesome parts of this besides the whole thing but she made it 
with the heart on one side and then the other side has the clubs on it or the spade or whatever and I have just the queen of hearts for Halloween and I just think it's so cute and I'm so thrilled that she made this for me it was really awesome from Old Navy I got this super cool chevron skirt kind of got into chevron a lot this year but there's that and it's just got this cool liner on it and it's just like knee length it's super cute I love it so much I got really into skirts this year so I was really happy to have that also from Old Navy I got this awesome blue knit top and it's Looks like it's shorter in the front, but it's really not. It's just really cute, and it's really comfortable, and I have worn it all year long with just different things under it. Black tank tops, white tank tops, whatever. Um, it's just, seriously, it's one of my favorite shirts. So, I love that. What is this? Really pretty white top. So, that's what the front looks like. And then... There's the back. So it's just like a little tank top and super comfortable and nice to wear in the summertime. Uh, my favorite thing was a jacket that I got from Maurice's. And I got this 75% off. It's just an awesome jacket. I so much. And it was only $12 by the time I got it. So high waisted jeans that I got I think I got these from Burlington maybe uh, I can't really remember where they came from but uh, I love them so much they're just high waisted jeans and I must have lost some weight because these were fitting when I got them and now they're a little bit big they are so comfy I love them so much and I love the color of them they're like a whitewash um, well, I think they're more of a light blue, but my husband calls them white, so whatever, maybe my eyes are off, but they're so cute, and they're so comfortable, and they work with just about anything that I wear, um, and, you know, I, I never really was into high-waisted pants or shorts or anything like that until uh, I found these, and now I'm just, like, on a search for high-waisted jeans, and I can't find them anywhere. All the ones that I find on Amazon are all, like, high-waisted skinny jeans so I may have to try those um, but if you like high-waisted jeans and you know where to get some good pairs leave me a comment below those are called D jean D jeans they're sexy high-waist jeans that's what they're actually called um, so they're by D jeans but I can only find skinny G jeans or D jeans god I can't freaking talk ever and the next thing I'm going to show you guys is my favorite jewelry of 2015. So I'm going to start with my wedding band because I'm not going to take this one off. The top, the top one is my engagement ring. Let's see if I can get that close. I don't know if it's going to focus. The bottom one is the wedding band that we chose together. So they're not a pair. They don't go together. I just really liked that wedding band and I thought it was cool because this kind of just sat right in it and it works really well and I love it so much. Necklace that my mom bought me to wear on my wedding day. So it looks like this on and it's just a magnetic. I had to end up putting a clothespin on it because it wasn't staying for me but for the most part you just stick it together and it's just a magnetic backing. This thing is my turquoise ring. I bought this. Where did I buy this? I don't know. Love it so much. So I wear it a lot. Um, and yeah, that is my favorite clothes and jewelry. So some of my favorite movies that I didn't bring up because some of them I don't have yet and some of them I just didn't feel like going downstairs and getting um but my, my favorite movies of the year was Mockingjay 2 of course uh Mad Max Fury Road Cinderella Insurgent I think that covers what my favorite movies were I wanted to show you guys my favorite makeup and skincare of the year so I'm gonna start with skincare and the first thing 
and only thing that I really have for skincare because uh, the other thing I ended up using all of and uh, I am desperately wanting more but I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to buy it so um, but this is one of my favorites and as you can tell it is the Acure Brightening Face Scrub it is just in Argan Stem Cell Chlorella Growth Factor and this is my favorite 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 of all time skin scrubs uh, I I've just super enjoyed this I can't even tell you how much I've loved this I thought the mint julep facial scrub was my favorite but this just beats that by like a, a thousand and um, you can buy this for ten dollars at Target I got a little one in an ipsy bag but this one I bought at Target and it lasts it lasts me forever when I had the little one, but I think that because now I know where I can buy it and everything, I'm using it more or something or whatever. There's still tons of it left, so uh, I just feel like it's going faster than I want it to go. But it's super gritty and it's super amazing and I just love it so much. The other skincare product that I really loved was the Ole Henriksen True Serum. Um, and that is just something that you mix in with your primer or whatever you're going to use uh, on your face. And it just smells so good. It smells like, um, like citrusy kind of almost. It's just so nice and it feels so good on your skin and it makes everything that you put on your face that much more amazing. Um, there was one other thing. Oh, these makeup wipes from Big Lots that I showed you, but I have used all of them <laughs> since I did that video. Uh, it was my closet talk video. I have used all of them. So I had a cucumber one, and then I had a vitamin C one, and the vitamin C one kind of reminds me of the Ole Henriksen True Serum in the way it smells and the way it feels. So amazing. It's vitamin C, and I just love it so, 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 so much. I've got to get back to Big Lots to get some, um, but it's going to have to wait till I have a car, so. Um, but yeah, those are my favorite skincare products. Now, my favorite makeup products, uh, a couple things that I don't have. I don't have my NYX T-Rose lipstick. I don't know if it ended up with a bridesmaid or if I just left it in my hotel room at the wedding or what happened, but uh, I don't have it anymore, and I'm really disappointed that I don't have it because I love NYX T-Rose lipstick so, so much uh, that I have to go buy more whenever I can um, but that is probably my favorite lipstick in the entire world but I will show you my other makeup products that I love so much we all know how much I loved the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation it was a 12 hour coverage I've talked about this a couple times now uh, I showed you guys when I got it I also did a review on it with the Fit Me Foundation um, and I'm just I can't wait to go buy more of this I am trying so hard to like make it last even more and eventually I'm probably gonna cut it open and use every single like part of this every little particle that is left in this little um, little tube I'm planning on using until I can get more because I'm obsessed with this foundation this I just recently got an NFC bag and it is the Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. And hopefully that this hopefully this will last me a little bit longer till I can get some more. But of all the primers I've ever used for eyeshadow, this is my holy grail. Everyone loves the Urban Decay primer potion. I am obsessed with the Thank Me Later. I think that this stuff rocks. So uh, if you're looking to try a new one or you want to compare it to the primer potion the primer potion just I, I still have it I still use it um, but it's not my holy grail like it is for other people so I have this I also reviewed this a couple months ago this is the NYX palette and this one is Dreamcatcher I guess this one's the Dreamcatcher one they have like two or three or maybe more um, but they only had two or three of them when I was there. But those are the colors that it comes with. And I did swatch them for you guys once before. Um, but they're just some pretty awesome colors. And today I have on the black one and the white one. So that's what I'm using on my eyes today. I don't know if you can see very well. 
Um, but yeah, pretty awesome colors. I have not used so much of this yet, um, but I've been using it a little bit. My favorite palette was the Too Faced Romantic Eye. This is what I used for my wedding. Um, and my friend Allison that I showed you um, in my book that I got for the wedding, she's like literally been my longest friend ever, um, she did my makeup. So these were the colors in that and I don't really remember which ones she used on my face, but whatever she did it looked amazing and I love this palette so much I'm going to be really disappointed when it's gone. So those are my favorite palettes. Now, lip scrub is this stuff. This is the Beauty Treats Wild Apple. And I just showed you guys this in my Christmas haul video. Um, but I've really, really enjoyed using it. Um, like I said in that video, when you use it, you use it, you t remove it with warm water with like a rag or something and then you want to lock in your lips with a something moisturizing like a chapstick or something like that. Um, and I like to do it before I go to bed and that way when I wake up I'm not so chapped or whatever. But yeah, so I'm totally enjoying the lip scrub. For my birthday I got some makeup brushes. I'm not going to show every single one of them off to you. I've already shown them to you. Um, I'll just kind of do a quick thing about it. Every time I show you guys these brushes, they are from Ulta. <laughs> I always need to wash them. I just washed them a couple weeks ago and they already need to be washed again. But I'm so excited that I washed them and they didn't fall apart because I had brushes that were falling apart after I washed them and I was really careful with these and they're so nice. They're still super soft and they feel so good and they still do their job. So. They are good, 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 good brushes. And my makeup has been so much better since I actually got decent brushes. So, yeah. I highly recommend these Ulta brushes. I'm still looking for more. You can never have too many brushes in my opinion. Um, so maybe sometime next year I might go buy myself some other sets of brushes that I find I like. Because I'm hearing some really good things about different uh, brands and everything that I would love to try. But for now, these are my favorite brushes of 2015. This is my Buxom lipstick that I redeemed with points. And I got it in uh, Sinful Cinnamon. So, but yeah. Sinful Cinnamon looks like that. And it's just a really lovely color. I did have it on my lips, but I went over my lips with more of a red color. Um, I love to mix lipsticks, so don't mind me. Uh, I am usually never wearing just one color on my lips. Today I'm wearing this and I'm wearing a e.l.f. brand lipstick that I have um, just to give myself a little bit of pop of color. I love to mix them. So those are all my favorite makeup products of 2015. So one of the other favorite things that I had through 2015 was Ipsy Bag. Now just recently I decided to cancel Ipsy because I want to try other uh, subscription boxes so I haven't decided which sub which subscription box to try um, but if you have any ideas on what subscription boxes you like and what you think I should try leave me a comment below uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from some people uh, I know that there's Birchbox, there's BoxyCharm, there's Voxbox, there's um, there's like Nature Box which isn't like beauty and skincare but it's like food um, and of course there's Stitch Fix which I am planning on going back to Stitch Fix as soon as I can but uh, yeah those are some of the subscription boxes I've, I know of if you know of something different or if you want to just comment below and let me know what subscription box you like and why I would love to hear from you guys I would love to get some help on what subscription box to try next uh, I was kind of it was really hard for me to actually cancel Ipsy because even though I don't always love the bags I get they always seem to redeem themselves with something in the next month so for a couple months I wasn't very happy with it but then you know for a couple months there it was just like joyously wonderful and December was probably my favorite bag of all all year so for me to cancel after my favorite bag came was kind of 
a letdown and kind of a, a hard thing for me to do but I did it because I want to try other things and I can't afford to do like every subscription box they have out there you know at the same time I know a lot of people get birch box they get ipsy they get boxy charm they get you know all these different I watch videos of people who do all their subscription boxes at once and there's like five or six ones that they have and I'm just like how do, you, how do people afford to do that you know like I wish I could afford to do all these different subscription boxes at once but I just can't so I want to try a new one and I would really love to hear from you guys please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think I should try I've also really enjoyed this Fitbit um, I'm figuring out a lot of things about this this goes by uh, what it does is it tracks 10,000 point or 10,000 steps a day and when you've gotten to 20% of your goal it lights up with one thing which I haven't gotten to 20% yet today uh, which is kind of sad but um, then when you get five of those it buzzes and it lets you know that you've reached your goal um, you can track your weight with this you can track barcodes and stuff like that you know figure out food and whatnot you can do all sorts of stuff like this might be awesome um, so you can just track all sorts of stuff with this. So I'm figuring, still figuring that out. It's something I got for my birthday from my mom. And I am just now finally getting around to using it and figuring it out. So I really love this thing. So one of my favorite signs that I got is for my wedding. And we had this on a table at our wedding with uh, where they put our gifts. And uh, right next to the cake table. Um, and what it is, it's just a love sign. It just says love and these things are supposed to be light bulbs and they're supposed to light up but we did not put batteries in any of these yet so I have just hung it on our wall and yeah we don't light them up or anything maybe at one point we will I don't know but I just love that we just have it hanging I think it's really cool so some of my other favorite signs are this which I got at Gordman's and this just says when you see only one set of footprints in the sand, it was then that he carried you. Which is one of my favorite uh, little poems that I have. Uh, just reminding us that God carries us through our hard times. This is right next to my bed on my nightstand. To always remind me. And my other favorite sign I got at Big Lots, I think. just says, hello beautiful. I just love the print on it. I love that it's just so positive and it reminds me that I'm full of beauty, not just beautiful, but full of beauty. Because you can be beautiful on the outside, but be super ugly on the inside, and I know a lot of people like that. So it just reminds you to be full of beauty. Lastly, this is something that my bridesmaids and I decided to do, was to just get different lipsticks and kiss it, and they all wrote their names on it. This one is... My maid of honor, Rebecca, and then we have Kelsey over here, and uh, that was Erin's. I think I love hers the most, just because I love that color, and I don't know, Kelsey's is kind of awesome too. I just love seeing all these different, like, lips. Uh, mine is the weirdest one, because I guess I did my O phase, which is interesting. I don't know why I did it like that, but... Um, I even had my little flower girl kiss it so this is my flower girls and I just think hers are so cute um, just so tiny and she even wrote her name and she did the same like little sign that her mom did which was is my sister-in-law and that's my sister-in-law's and my friend Kristen is right here and then Allison is right there so I still want to put a picture of all of us here I haven't decided which picture to put yet but as soon as I get them printed I will be putting a picture here and I have this hanging by my bed so those are my favorite like signs and things that I have like pictures and whatever and I got for me was a speaker it's Polaroid and this just is through Bluetooth on your phone and you can play music and it is a speaker for music so I would bring this to work when I was still managing at the pizza place and in the mornings when I was getting the dough ready and everything I would play this and it was so much louder and it was so much off more awesome for me to have this um, and then shortly after I got it we closed down so it was really disappointing but yeah 
One thing that I really enjoyed using this year is this Hello Gorgeous mug. And I don't actually use it that often to drink out of. It's just something like really pretty for me to look at and to have. Because it's really, it's just huge. In case you can't see, it's just really big. But I love the color. I love the pink in there. I love that it has lips on it. It says Hello Gorgeous. Um, and I haven't decided if I want to use it. Like just as decoration or if I'm going to use it to drink out of. Um, but I love this cup so much this water infuser which I don't have anything in right now but the recipe that I've found that I love the most so far is my lemons and raspberries recipe and it's so good and it's so refreshing and it really helps me drink water more so I'm definitely gonna start using it more because I kind of got off track with my water intake uh, at the end of this year so I definitely for next year want to start drinking more water and so I'm definitely gonna use this a little bit more um so yeah I'm gonna look up more recipes and just drink the heck out of some water this is what we're using downstairs to do candles and stuff like this it's my little Bali man and currently I have uh it's hardened enough that I can show you it's like a Christmas tree scent. It just smells so good. And I used that downstairs. And he's just so modern and awesome. It's my little Bali man. But my husband calls it the severed head. <laughs> and we just love it. Oh, I love it anyway. Uh, I try to pick out fragrances and scents that are not too intrusive. Because some of them bother my stepson. So I try to pick out like light, clean pretty scents that won't uh, be too perfumey for him um, and then lastly I also really love my lotus flower burner which I have not yet used I have this mostly for decoration in my closet on my vanity but it's just beautiful and hopefully I will move uh, next year to a place where I can use it uh, on my vanity but also plugged in so I can actually use it um, that's what it looks like without the this part in it. But I have a deep love for Lotus stuff, so I really wanted this one, and I love the color. It had like your choice of different colors: green, purple, and I forget what else. But I like the purple ones. So that's the one I got. I love this because I figured out that not only can I use this for my singing, but I can also do voiceovers with this. So when I want to start showing you guys more like of the journaling stuff that I do and the crafty stuff, um, and maybe I'll do a draw my life. I don't even know if those are even relevant anymore. Do people even do draw my life anymore? Um, I know that that was the like YouTuber thing to do for a while, um, and I love watching them. You, YouTube draw my lives are so much fun. Uh, to watch and a lot of them you find that you have so much in common with so many people and you find out that so many people in this life are bullied you know and it's it's really sad that so many people have gone through that but odds are that if you were here on this earth you have probably been a victim of bullying and it really makes me feel closer to some of the people that we find to be almost stars you know like yeah sure they're YouTube stars but they're stars in my eyes and some of the people that I uh, love the most are not like A-list or movie stars they are YouTube stars to me you know and like I would be more starstruck probably if I met Candy Johnson or something than I would be if I met um, Cameron Diaz or I don't even know why she's the one that popped in my brain but you get the idea um, speaking of YouTube uh, I'd I've also decided that my favorite YouTuber of 2015 is Dominic Welton. And I talked about him a little bit in my last video when I was doing my 2015 review, 2016 plan video. Um, but I decided that I don't talk about what other YouTubers I love enough. Um, and so my favorite YouTuber of 2015 was Dominic Welton. He is somebody that I literally just discovered at the tail end this year here in December and uh, he literally took the cake of every YouTuber I discovered this year I love you Dominic Welton you were great 
Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to show you guys. That was all my favorite stuff of 2015. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to become part of my family, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to connect with you and get to know you more and have you a part of my family. Here's to wishing you all infinite love and a happy new year. And I will see you guys in 2016. Bye.